Hi. So trying out the streaming thing. Couldn't see the last one. So this is a big improvement. Today we're going to be reading about a, a girl named so Sofia Martinez. And she. the title of the book is Abuela's Birthday. And Abuela is a grandmother. I'm, me. I'm, a, I'm your abuela. Chapter One, The Piñata. Sophia carried a big bag across the yard to her cousin's house. There she is. There's Sophia. Look at all those balloons. The bag held everything they needed to make a piñata. Do you really think Abuela would like this? Hector asked. Isn't she too old for a piñata? No one is too old for a fun birthday party, Sophia said. I think she's right. Sophia pulled newspapers, balloons, and paint from the bag. Bella the cat came over and tried to get in the bag. Silly gada, Sophia said. There's nothing for you here. Gada means cat. What do we do first, Sophia? Hector asked. That's easy. We tear the paper in strips, said Sophia. She handed newspaper to Manuel, Manuel, Alonso, and Hector. And what are they making again? A piñata. A piñata. That's a fun thing you break open. Together they made a big pile of paper strips on the kitchen floor. Perfecto. Now we need flour and water to mix for the paste, Sophia said. Here's the flour, Hector said. It's really heavy. Sophia shook her head. She couldn't help him. She was too busy blowing up a balloon for the middle of the piñata. Will you the man? He said, help me. She said, I can't. I'm busy blowing up balloons. She's got gorgeous curly hair like yours, Lucia and DJ and, and Kiara. And Oswin. Everybody's got the curly hair. Hector started to pour the flour into a bowl by himself. Pop! Sophia's balloon broke. Hector jumped and dropped the entire bag of flour. It landed right on top of Bella. Oh, no, he yelled. Bella's the cat. This is chapter two. Cat chaos. Before they could stop her, Bella ran through the big pile of newspaper strips. She was getting flour all over. Little pieces of paper flew everywhere, too. It was a big disaster. Grab her, Sophia yelled. They reached for Bella over and over, but she slipped through their hands in a cloud of flower dust every time they got close. Mama is going to be really mad, Alonzo said. They had to get Bella cleaned up before they got in trouble. Where are the kitty treats? Sophia asked. Hector grabbed a little pink bag from the cabinet. He quickly gave it to Sophia. Venaki, I got it, Sophia said quietly as she waved at you. So she said quietly. Let's try again. Venaki, got it. Sophia said as she waved a treat in the air. Sophia slowly walked toward the bathroom. The hungry cat followed her right in. Bella left a tiny trail of white paw prints all over, but that was a problem for later. Rapido, close the door, Sophia said to Hector. Sophia filled the tub with water. Bella jumped into Hector's arms. Cats don't like water. What are we going to do? Hector asked. Cats don't like to take baths. Sophia picked up a big brush by the sink. Does she like this? She asked. See? Hector said, yes. Mama brushes her once a week. Hector and Sophia sat down on the floor. They took turns gently brushing Bella. Alonzo and Manuel banged down the bathroom door. Let us in! All the noise woke up Tia Carmen from her nap. And what is Tia? It's an aunt, isn't it? Like Gracie or, or Cupcake or Carolyn. Que pasa? Tia Carmen yelled from the kitchen. 
That's what time is it or what's going on? Oh, no, we're in big trouble, said Hector. They still have all that mess of flour in the kitchen, don't they? Chapter three, the big mess. Sophia and the boys ran to the kitchen. Flour, newspaper strips, and kitty tracks covered the floor. Tia Carmen did not look happy, but she hadn't even seen the bathroom yet. What a disaster, she said. What were you kids doing? Sophia told Tia Carmen that they were trying to make a piñata. That's a nice idea, but next time you need to ask first, Tia Carmen said, and now you have to clean up. Sophia and her cousins cleaned everything. When they were done, Sophia asked Tia Carmen for more newspaper and flour. Parquet, Tia Carmen asked, looking confused. That means, for what? A new piñata for abuela, Sophia said. Tia Carmen laughed. Silly Sophia, I don't think so. You'll just make another mess. No, we won't, Sophia said. I promise. We really want Abuelo to have a piñata for her birthday, Alonzo said. Please. Por favor, Hector said. That means please. They're begging. Look, they've got their sad faces on. Please. Tia Carmen sighed. Okay, grab all the stuff you need and go out on the patio, she said. I'll keep Bella inside. This time, Tia Carmen helped make the paste mixture. No flour spilled, and all the paper strips were pasted on the balloon. Not one got in the house. Sophia's big sisters, Luisa and Elena, came over to help paint the piñata. Everyone worked extra hard to make it special. We need to put candy inside, said Elena. Everybody gets candy, Sophia said. Let's do something more unique for Abuela. So usually... Piñatas are stuffed with candy, and you beat them with a stick, and then the candy falls out everywhere for everyone. But in this case, Elena said, you know what? Everybody does that. Let's do something different for Abuela. They love their Abuela so much. Something she loves, Hector said, like playing cards. It was true. Abuela loved card games. All the grandchildren spent hours at her house playing Go Fish and Old Maid. Great idea, Sophia said. She'll love it. This will be one party she'll never forget. On the day of the party, Tia Miguel hung a piñata on the, hung the piñata on a tree limb. Abuela put on the blindfold and swung the stick first. Then everybody else took turns. That's them thinking about what they could do to, um, to put in the piñata, special to Abuela. Abuela laughed when Sofia finally broke the piñata. Playing cards, gracias! Yes, thank you, Abuela said. I love my party. And we love you, Sofia said. Feliz cumpleaños, Abuela. Happy birthday, grandmother. That would be a fun project wouldn't it? And that's the end of that book. I love y'all.